Megan. And I'm Sierra. And, and we're, we're from, from the Chaosics too. too. Welcome to TC Tuesday. You might realize that we are one person short of normal. So Maggie's not here because we are going to film today, like both videos for this week today. And then she was like an hour, like it was an hour until when we were supposed to start recording and we're like, where's Maggie? Yeah, she was sick so she like fell asleep and didn't realize that she like hadn't texted us back. Um, that's fine because we were planning on doing this video anyways and Maggie probably wouldn't be able to contribute that much anyways. We are going to be doing gymnastics tips for your first meet. You probably can't read the back, but we decided to add a little chalkboard art. Yeah. And we're actually doing a sit down video, which we haven't done in forever, like so long. Um, but it's gonna, be, it's gonna be kind of nice because if you have been on our channel for a very long time, we used to do these types of videos all the time and they're nice to do. Yeah. If you guys want to see more sit down videos of us just talking with like information to give you guys, let us know in the comments and maybe Maggie can be in some more in the future. Um, but yeah, we're going to try and keep this short and sweet uh, because we have a lot to share and we don't want this video to take forever. So anyways, let's get started. The first one is to make sure that your routines are not only just memorized, but you have it like muscle memory. So basically, a lot of you guys, if you have a routine, you memorize it and you have it in your head and you know what to do next. But when you're at a meet, you can still easily forget it, even if you have it memorized, otherwise you wouldn't be competing it. But if you gave your routine down to the point where you can do it without thinking about it, then you probably won't forget it. Yeah. The last thing you want to do is be at your meet and like not forget it, even if you practice it a million times. And not forget it. <laughs> and forget it. Um, if you practice it at practice, obviously, uh, you might like be okay doing it, but you really want to make sure that like every time you're doing it, you're thinking exactly of what you have to do. Tip number two is to know what you're supposed to be wearing when you show up. Obviously, you probably want to be wearing your leotard and, and your, probably your warm-up. Yeah, your coach is definitely going to let you know what they want you to wear. Um, some gyms might have like a certain hairstyle they want you to do. I would not recommend it, like listening to someone else unless your gym's kind of not super like strict and like, you can do whatever. Like, don't just like listen to maybe like another video and be like show up in your like leotard, your warm-ups. Like, even though that's most likely what you're gonna have to go in, like just listen it to your coach. They're gonna tell you exactly what you Make sure you're wearing the right shoes too. Usually that's kind of overlooked, but our gym we have to wear tennis shoes, so like probably don't show up in like flip flops or anything. Double check that with your gym. Make sure your hair is up to par with how they want it, and that way you show up ready to go. Alright, this next tip kind of goes off of the last one, but this is to make sure you have everything in your gym bag that you think you might need, like literally anything that you might need, you should have in your gym yeah. bag. We have a video for what we keep in our gym bag and we can link it down below. But just kind of keep the essentials, the first aid kit, maybe a snack, um, any like pre-wrap or like ointment for yeah, no, I have like, you already said first aid kit. Yeah. yeah so <laughs> never mind. But you know what you're going to need. Um, sometimes uh, maybe a granola bar if you're going to a meet would be like a good idea. Grips if you wear them. Water bottle, grips are important. Yeah, don't forget, don't forget grips. those if you wear grips. Um, so yeah, we have a whole what's in our gym bag video. We're gonna link it down below. So make sure you go watch that. Okay, so our next tip is probably one that you're gonna be like, what, why? But it's to not practice your routine a lot right before your meet. So the night before you meet, you probably are literally only thinking about the meet and just want to practice, practice, Especially practice. Especially because it's your first meet. Yeah. Like, I, we've been there. Yeah, we were there learning our routine, like going over with the music like 20 times before the meet. Uh, Luckily, don't do that. <laughs> we didn't get hurt, but the last thing you want to do is to be practicing right before a meet and getting hurt. Like, even if it's just like a little or like, like oh, a muscle, ankle. like you don't want to do anything that would hurt your performance. Like, if you've got it down, which like by the time, like in the months leading up to your first competition, like you should be capable of doing it. You guys are going to be fine. One extra night of practice is not going to do a whole lot to change the outcome. So be safe, and especially if you're at your house, like it's just not going to be as safe as doing, doing a dance through is probably totally fine. Just do like a dance through once or twice, and then call it good for the night. All right, tip number five is to eat a light lunch about two hours before you start competing. Um, that's because you obviously want to eat something before the meet, but you don't want to eat something super heavy because then if you're already nervous at the meet, you probably have a bit of a stomach ache, and then the like, last thing you want is like a food stomach ache. Yeah, you're gonna get 
pretty nervous like for your first meet at least like me and Sierra both were yeah. and I found just like in my years of competing that if it's like two hours before I can still like eat enough to like be full and I'll like live through the meat and that's when I said earlier like you can pack a granola bar if you like still get hungry because during a meet you can sometimes still like go to your bag and like yeah. eat real quick so just like a light lunch, nothing like, don't have like ribs or anything. Yeah, definitely make sure that you eat something though because you don't want to compete on an empty stomach. Going off of eating, make sure you go to the bathroom before you start a meet. This seems pretty obvious, like, but like don't forget to do that because you don't want to have to like guess if you have time for your next yeah. routine. Once you're like, when you're in the middle of like a, of a meet, like it's really hard to kind of guess like I'll have time here without missing too much warm up, but like, like it's just harder to yeah. find time to go to the bathroom, so just go before. <laughs> this is really going to help you if you usually get nervous or I guess this is your first meet but like if you think you're gonna get nervous because I'm pretty sure everyone gets nervous before any kind of meet um, find spots in your routine that you can take a breather and calm yourself down especially on floor and beam yeah ball and bars might be a little hard but yeah I mean especially during floor it like when you're in the corner getting ready to tumble take a breath like There's you're going to have time to just like you know don't rush through it you're gonna be more tired you're gonna be more nervous Find spots in your beam routine and your floor routine to just like take a second and breathe. Calm yourself down. Take each routine one thing at a time, one skill at a time. Focus on each skill as it happens. Don't think at the beginning of your routine all the way to your last pass. Take it one thing at a time and then take a deep breath before you compete. That's really going to help calm you down. And you're most likely down. going to do better. Yeah. The last tip that we have is to make sure you have a good sportsmanship and also to cheer on your teammates. This is basically just because if you're doing really well mm -hmm. and you're kind of like, yeah, like look how awesome I'm doing, like I'm doing better than everyone else, then that's gonna be like rude to others. But if you're also like not doing as well as you'd hope and you're kind of being like, oh, I'm doing horrible, like I'm sucking right now, then you're kind of like dragging everyone else down. Yeah, just and also happy. like going along with like cheering for your teammates, like as much as gymnastics is an individual sport, like it's a team sport too. Cheer on your teammates, you're going to have so much more fun if you're cheering them on and they're doing great. Even if you're having a bad meet, like if I've had a bad meet, if my other teammates are like having a good time and yeah. I'm cheering them on, like it brings me up a little bit, like yeah. Don't just kind of focus on yourself, yeah. focus on how your teammates are doing. You're gonna have so much yeah. more fun if you're like all in it together. Gymnastics meets are so much more fun when you focus on just being with your friends and your teammates if you, instead of focusing. Cheering each other on, like yeah. it makes it so much more fun. So make friends with the people that are on your team too. Yeah. and have a good time. <laughs> the last tip is probably the most important. Like, just have a good time. <laughs> we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and let us know if you want other talking videos down yeah, below. Yeah, and I if you, just talking to yeah, you guys. Yeah, it's just like nice to yeah. talk to the camera. Bring we don't do that a lot. Vids. As much as I love our other videos <laughs> and like having some really creative, fun yeah. videos, this is nice. Anyways, we hope you guys liked this video and we'll see you on Friday. Bye! Bye.